Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques. Learn everything about Excel. All right, today we have a user question. They had seen a previous post of mine where I created a clustered stacked column chart. And uh, I will put this in the show notes so that you know how to make this one as well. Uh, but what they wanted to know is how do we add a line to the clustered stacked column chart? Certainly, you can always go to your insert ribbon and do a shape and add a line to your shape uh, um, and add that right on top of your chart. However, uh, if you move your chart, the line doesn't move. You may not put it exactly 350. Maybe I was just off a little bit. It's hard to tell. Uh, so let's make an exact line for our chart. To do that, we want to follow the same way we went about setting up our horizontal categories. So we want to put a line data in the same format just so that we make sure we're getting exactly what we're looking for. Let's add 350 line for product one and let's see our target value for product two was 450. We now have our data and we can add the series to the chart. Next we'll want to click on our chart, go to our design ribbon that pops up once we've clicked on the chart, and then we want to find the button that says select data. In 2007 and 2010 I think it's more over on the left. Let's click on select data and what we want to do is we want to add a legend entry or series and then the legend entry or series we want to add, I'll click on the name of line that I put out there in the chart so it has the same name that I gave it on the data area and then the series value, I'm going to highlight that and hit my backspace key otherwise it may just add in an extra bit of data that I don't want uh, with that number one so we just want to make sure we clear it out and then highlight our data range that we created. You can see Excel has added a line series. Doesn't look like a line just yet, but we can change that here in a second. Let's click on OK and then click on OK again. Now uh, for our line, what we want to do is we want to click on that new line series, go once again up to our design ribbon, and then there's going to be a button that says change chart type. Now once we click on change chart type, uh, we can then find the line and change it to an actual line chart type for that one series and then click on OK. So you'll notice that our lines have now been added to our chart. It will move with our chart. It is precisely placed at 350 and 450 as our lines. Um, and then as unlike another line that we've drawn on a shape, if our values change, we can change our values on our line and they will adjust on the chart accordingly. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If so, I'd love for you to give me a thumbs up or a like on the video channel. Also subs consider subscribing to my video channel so that you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.